Ladies and gentlemen, Fightbox KOK Heroes World Series 2018 live on Fightbox. Main event of the evening. First time in KOK history we have Women's Division World Champion Belt. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, title fight, Morocco versus Moldova. Blue corner from Morocco, Esma Gashas. <laughs> It's history in the making, ladies and gentlemen. For the first time ever, a 51 kilogram women's champion will be crowned here tonight. Esma Hassas, the fight queen, set to take on Nadezhda Kantir. Both women are familiar with each other and they have fought before. That went down in October of 2016 and Hatas was the winner by split decision. You then fast forward to one year ago, April 1st, 2017, the very first ever Women's World Grand Prix. Both Kantir and Hatas won their semifinal matchups, but the finals couldn't happen until now. One year later, because Hassas was involved in a very serious car accident, which left her out of commission for over four months. She now claims that she's back and better than ever, representing Hemmer's gym. Here she is, the fight queen, Esma Hassas from Morocco, by way of the Netherlands, eight and two in her young professional career, just 20 years old. I think that when all is said and done, we can look back at both of these ladies, Hassas and Kantir, and count them as trailblazers, leading the way in the women's kickboxing world. Hassas not only took place in the first Women's World Grand Prix here in KOK, also fought in the first ever uh, glory kickboxing tournament for females as well. She has a chance to make history. Esma Hashas, Morocco. Ladies and gentlemen, red corner from Moldova, Nadezhda Kantsir. Her opponent. 26 years old, six years older. Nadezhda Kantir, five and one as a professional, representing her home country of Moldova. She's from right here in Kishino and has a lot of supporters here in the audience. She's also a, a very inspirational fighter here in Moldova. I said it time and time again, this is a very rapidly expanding division, the women's division here in KOK. And a lot of it is thanks to this woman, Nadezhda Kantir, who has inspired countless girls to take up kickboxing and MMA in this country. She was, the, uh, she was not the favorite to advance in the tournament, but she did win her semifinal matchup against a much more experienced Firde Kirat, the Turkish fighter. She has great conditioning. She says that she's improved on uh, so much. Nadezhda Kansi, Moldova. True. And I can't wait to see what she brings to the ring here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, now will sound national game of Morocco. The very first ever Women's World Grand Prix. Both Kantir and Haas Haas won their semifinal matchups, but the finals couldn't happen until now. One year later, because Haas Haas was involved in a very serious car accident, which left her out of commission for over four months. She now claims that she's back and better than ever, representing Hemmer's gym. Here she is, the fight queen, Esma Hassas from Morocco, 
by way of the Netherlands. Eight and two in her young professional career at just 20 years old. I think that when all it's said and done, we can look back at both of these ladies, Haas Haas and Kantir, and count them as trailblazers leading the way in the women's kickboxing world. Haas Haas not only took... Ladies and gentlemen, now will sound national game of Moldova. And has a lot of supporters here in the audience. She's also a, a very inspirational fighter here in Moldova. As I said it time and time again, this is a very rapidly expanding division, the women's division here in KOK. And a lot of it is thanks to this woman, Nadeja Kantir, who has inspired countless girls to take up kickboxing and MMA in this country. She was, the, uh, she was not the favorite to advance in the tournament, but she did win her semifinal matchup against a much more experienced Firde Kirat, the Turkish fighter. She has great conditioning. She says that she's improved uh, so much since her last fight, which is absolutely true. And I can't wait to see what she brings to the ring here tonight. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, main event of the evening, title match for the KOK World Champion Belt and fighting for the blue corner, 20 years old, official height 170 centimeter, official weight 51 kilogram, personal record, eight wins, two losses, winner of international fighting events, representing Hammer Gym, Morocco, fight queen, Esma Gosha! <laughs> Fighting for the red corner, 26 years old, official height 166 centimeter, official weight 51 kilogram, personal record, five win, one lost, winner of international fighting events, representing Berkut Fight Club, Moldova, Nadezhda Kansir. <laughs> Ring referee Dmitry Lupushor, five rounds, three minutes each. No elbow. It's okay. Stand back. Judge, judge, judge. First round. Fight! Round one. And we are underway. Keep in mind, folks, five rounds of three minutes in this title matchup. As Mahasas taking on Nadezhna Kantir in this historic moment here at the KOK Heroes World Series, live on Fightbox HD from Kishino, Moldova. Crazy fighting night, as it's being called. And it has been a pretty crazy night thus far, and a great way to close out the Heroes World Series with the ladies in the main event. Low kick there from Hasas. Represents Hemmer's gym. He's got Hutter Gregorian, Glory Champ, and Errol Zimmerman. Longtime top heavyweight in her corner. Nadezhda from Moldova, from the Berkut gym here in Moldova. And these two do know each other. They have fought before, as I mentioned. That was back in 2016. So I think both fighters have grown and evolved. And they're bringing something new to the table here tonight. But they do look a little bit more cautious thus far than they were in their first matchup. Especially Nadezhna Kante. I have 
if you go back and you watch her fight, even from like a couple of years ago, she has improved by leaps and bounds. She's got a lot more technical over the years. And I'm, I'm interested to see how Hassas is right now physically. She was in a, a very, very serious car accident. She had uh, a, a lot of injuries. Saw some of the pictures uh, online and in a documentary film that's on YouTube about her. And she, honestly, she's lucky to be alive right now. Looks to be in top shape, though, as does Cantier. 30 seconds remaining now as round number one starts off with a very slow pace, perhaps rightfully so. We've got four rounds left to go in this title matchup. We might see somebody try to get busy here at the end of the round and try to steal this thing. We've still got four rounds left to go, so these ladies probably pacing themselves here. Almost like a zen-like moment Second in round. the corner for both these fighters. They, they look very calm, very relaxed. Fight. Second round. Breath, trying to stay focused mentally. But now it's back to business. Can't hear. Pressing forward, looking a little bit more aggressive here as round number two opens up. Had a chance to interview both ladies for this matchup. And uh, I think that Nadezhna Kantir, this means so much to her, this fight. She's an inspiration, as I said, to a lot of fighters, especially female fighters here in Moldova. And I think the, the number of young ladies training at her gym now has increased like tenfold since she's really put herself on the map in women's kickboxing. And I think she really wants to make a statement with this fight. She said she, with this win, as she said, she really wants to establish herself worldwide as one of the top female kickboxers. As those left hands were connecting. Hassas doesn't seem too perturbed by it, though. At least not yet. Nice jab there by the Moroccan. There's that switch knee by Haas Haas. That is one of her best weapons. Time. Fight. Half the time gone by in round number two. see the action starting to pick up the pace starting to quicken here Asas has a lot of good movement inside the ring she's got a long list of different weapons she can hit you with different punches and kicks and knees turning kicks she is not a one dimensional fighter whatsoever also very good defensively as well. She, she uses the ring well. 
she, she's good at avoiding shots. And that makes for an interesting clash of styles because Kantir has a very straightforward approach to things. Likes to go right at her opponent. Which is interesting because Hassas is trains with those Dutch fighters. But doesn't necessarily get right in your face and just go full bore straight at you. It's, very, it's quite technical. Takes her time, looks for openings. Kantir tries to create her own openings. But both these girls are mixing it up here at the end of round two. Fighters. Third round. Fight. Third round. Round three. This one, of course, scheduled for five. As you can hear the leather smacking already. Fightbox's KOK -OK Heroes World Series. Up. Up. Live in over 40 countries Fight. around the world Fight. and streaming everywhere in between online at fightboxlive.com. Low kick slaps the lower region of the leg of Kantir. Kantir still pressing forward, though. So, so far, it's still a chess match in there between these two. One minute gone by in the third round. Haas Haas landing the leg kicks. Well, their first fight was a really wild affair. Going all over the place. I remember Haas Haas hitting the canvas so many times. And was actually a little bit out of control. Both fighters look a little bit more seasoned now. A little bit more technical. You can see they're still evolving and growing. And keep in mind that the, I don't think either fighter is even really at their best right now. Check back in a few years. These two are really going to be at their peak. Hassas only 20 years old. Kantir 26. The strawweight division is also rapidly developing here in KOK. We've had a, a number of girls debuting. Also on the FIA Championships portion of the event earlier tonight, Donna Kelly was successful once again she could be a contender in the future for whoever the champion is so ella grapper house put on a, a heck of a fight in december here we go mixing it up again with 30 seconds left this is going to be a close fight this is going to be a very close fight if things continue the way they're going here three rounds deep. It's going to be hard for the judges to make their decision. Nice work back and forth. Both ladies opening up here. Time. Well, Nadezhda Kantir having fun in there. 
You can hear the support in the audience for her. Take a look at what happened. That's the last 40, 50 seconds of round number three. Business started to pick up a little bit as we head into the championship rounds here. Feels nice to say that. And, and by the way, hats off to King of Kings for making this matchup and putting the spotlight on it and putting the ladies in the main event and even uh, having a ladies division. It's much needed in kickboxing. We've seen the success of female fighting in the world of MMA. And I think that kickboxing is not too far behind here. Fighters. Certainly got two stars in the making in the ring right now. As Doran Damier looks on, president of FEA, uh, Fighting Entertainment fight, Association. Fourth round. Round number four. Kentier swinging but out of range. Hansa still as cool and composed as ever. She likes to use that switch knee, that switch kick from a distance. Ooh, Kentier caught her with left hand and down they go. That could be the spark that ignites this fight. Fight. Exchange there. So both these ladies have competed in KOK -okay a number of times. But, uh, they, they've both won all their fights, with the exception of uh, Kantir. She did lose to Haas Haas in uh, a very close split decision. A lot of fans of King of Kings have expressed their disapproval with that decision. They felt that Nadezhna should have got her hand raised, but nonetheless, this one should settle the score here. But so far, it is very, very close. And again, it seems like Kantir is the one pressing forward and dictating the pace of the fight. So that's gonna go in her favor when everything else fails when there's not that many strikes when there's not that many significant strikes you have to take things like ring generalship into account and Cantor has been the one pressing forward for the majority of the bout Ooh. inside a minute now in round number four Since this is a rematch, too, I think that they both know what the other is made of. They're a, a lot more cautious. But when they do exchange, it does get very heated. 30 seconds left now. Hasas connects with the low kick. You see the different body structures that the girls have. Hasas taller, thinner, Kantir shorter, more compact. And that's coming into play here as Hasas connecting with low kicks, with push kicks. Kantir having to trudge her way inside. Time. End of round four. So we're, we're four rounds deep into this matchup and I still can't call it one way or the other. It's, it's very, very difficult. Only one round left. Who is going to be the first ever women's strawweight champion here in KOK? This is it, the fifth and final round. Let's do it. Fight. 
Final round. There goes the bell, and we are underway. Fifth round. For the first time here in the women's division. Low kick. Kantir tries to counter, but she's out of range with a lot of those strikes. Asas, way out of range with that spinning back fist. That's something that can kind of fluster you or get under your skin when you miss like that and end up on the canvas. Doesn't look to be the case though right here. Boy, this one is so close. I wonder if it really is going to be the end. Is this going to be the, the last time? Is this going to settle the score between these two or not? Because Somebody's going to walk out of here very disappointed with this result. It's going to be so close. We're looking at a, a split decision, a draw. I don't know what you're going to Obviously, it can't be a draw here with the title on the line, but it's going to be very hard to pick a winner. Still in half the time left in round number five, so anything can still happen. If somebody can get something big here in this round, it could make all the difference. Hassas now turning up the heat. There's that cracking low kick again. Really has, has been her best weapon in this fight so far. As she catches the leg and Kantir takes the canvas again. Good combo by the fight queen. Nice exchange there by both ladies. Time is slipping through their gloves. Hassas, a little bit more busy than she has been in previous rounds. Looking very confident in there as well. Kantir again, out of range with those shots. Who is going to be the very first KOK Women's World Grand Prix winner and 51 kilogram Die. champion? The judges you will you decide. <laughs> Mr. V, so if you're ready, we gon' see your body, your hands. I said your hands. If you got that shit, light it up. And while you're up, everybody go back to a place where you've been before. Well, both ladies, I don't know if it was nerves uh, or, or, or the pressure that kind of got to them or if that was just their, their styles and their game plans coming in here, but they were quite cautious through the majority of this fight. It did go the distance, the full five rounds. Both ladies had good conditioning and able to do so. But uh, this, I don't know what kind of, of a decision we're gonna see here. But I do know for sure that somebody's gonna be disappointed. And I wouldn't be surprised if no matter what the result is, we see some kind of a rematch later on. These are the two top fighters in the women's division. Where is Ritis Kuzmenka? Where is the shiny blue jacket? Where are the shiny black shoes? The decision taking a little bit longer than normal. Here he comes. You can see that jacket a mile away. Let's send it up to ringside and find out who the winner is. Ladies and gentlemen, Fightbox KOK Heroes World Series 2018, live on Fightbox. Title fight for the KOK World Champion belt. And after five rounds, I will announce decision of each judge. Judge one, Esma Hashas. Judge two, Nadezhda Kansir. 
Judge 3, Надежда Канцер, Молдова. Ladies and gentlemen, Women's Division, KOK World Champion, Надежда Канцер, Молдова. What a moment! What an emotional moment for Nade Nadeja Kantier in tears as she has made history and become the very first KOK Women's Champion by split decision. Last time it was Haas Haas winning by split decision. This time it's Kantier. Well, folks, I think we've got to have a rubber match. There's no other way. A very disappointed look on the face of Esma Hassas. She's having a long conversation with Doreen Damir, the president of FEA, in the ring right now. And I saw him signaling with his hands, hey, this was a razor-thin decision. As the ring is filling up now with Cantier supporters. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here on Fightbox for the Heroes World Series, a historic moment, and I don't think we've heard the last of this. Until next time, my name is Daniel Austin. So long, everybody!